So we are out in the powerhouse this evening. We made a significant change to our solar power system about seven or eight weeks ago. So we want to bring you guys up to date, tell you what the change is, why we made it, and how it's working out. Yeah, so we decided to eliminate the Tesla Model S batteries and go ahead and install brand new Simplify batteries. So let's go back seven weeks and see what we did. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the power off from the batteries and also turn the power off coming from the charge controller. Everything is turned off, disconnected, everything's good. So now we're going to start by disconnecting the batteries. Still got to be careful there. I don't want to go ahead and uh, hit my positive negative lead. So we'll be careful to take the batteries off and take them apart. All four battery modules are taken off and now they're on the ground. So let's measure voltage and see what we got on each module. So 23.77 volts we got on this one. Let's check this cabinet here. 23.79. This guy is at 23.77. Let's check this guy right here. Twenty-three seven six. All right, so the discharge on all these batteries is pretty much all the same. So batteries looking good. These things are going to go on the market either today, and by the time this video goes out, they will hopefully be gone. We just got our shelf built. We have our new Simplify batteries on the shelf. Now it's time to start wiring these guys up. Washer down first. Batter cable, put that down. Washer, lock washer.
wind the negative side up, we're actually wiring these batteries in parallel. These batteries cannot be wired in series. Each battery is, is already 48 volts, so the wiring in series will destroy the batteries. These things are meant to be wired in parallel only. They're the correct voltage for the use, each battery is. So we went in and out right here from negative to negative to negative. You saw us put these small wires on. This right here actually goes up to the battery monitor up top. When we tighten these things down, there's a little note on each one that says, Torque tight terminals to 13.3 foot pounds. So to my torque wrench out, we did it like that. It says over tightening can damage the battery. So make sure we don't want to do that. Use a torque wrench. So now let's go ahead and get started on the positive side. And once that side is done, we're done. We're gonna start charging these batteries. Uh, so the batteries are wired up. Very, very simple process with these batteries, wire in parallel only. Just go from positive to positive to positive, negative, 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 back to your inverter. So it's easier versus going series in parallel, per, per se, to make everything go up to 48 volts. These batteries are already set at 48 volts, so it makes it easier to do it that way. We also got the battery monitoring system wired up. Now it's time to go ahead, flip these breakers on, and get power going to the inverter and get everything programmed to get them charging. Another benefit with these batteries is they have breakers. My Tesla batteries do not, so I'm wiring them up as I'm hooking, making connections, or sparking as they're going, as I have no way to turn them off. With these batteries, there's an 80 amp break on them. They're all in the off position right now, so there's no need of arcing. If I accidentally touch my positive and my negative on the same battery together, there's no issues because the batteries are actually turned off. So it's actually a plus side having these little breakers on there, I think. So we have been running on the new Simplify battery system for the past seven or eight weeks now. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the solar power system and see how it's performing for us. Yeah, so it's like 7 p.m. now, so it's dark outside. It's been raining all day. Um, right now we're drawing about 240 watts. It's light inside the powerhouse. Um, power that goes out to the camper for everything that's going on in the camper right now. Not much is going on. So that's about 4.1 amps getting drawn off the batteries. The batteries are about at, are at 52.4 volts. So we're probably have about 70% left of the battery bank we're able to use today. So Aaron, what are we using on a typical day around the farm, the house, and everything we're doing? So we typically have the um, well pump running. That's, mm -hmm. you know, we run that daily. Uh, now we have a new washer and dryer. I, Huge. I did four loads yesterday to catch up on laundry since yes. we were behind. Um, we have a freezer that's running. We have the lights in here. We run the lights in the A-frame, all of our power tools yes. that we're building. Yep. Um, and I know the lowest we've gotten this battery down to is down to around 50%. So, so it's been able it's, to, yeah, it, has. it does everything that we need it to, which was the plan because, you know, as we had said in previous videos, we size the system according to our needs now and our needs once we get inside the A-frame, mm -hmm. although we do plan to slowly add on to the system. Yes. But once we do move into the A-frame, the only things right now that we're planning on adding on to the system is a refrigerator and a dishwasher. Yeah, so it shouldn't draw too much extra. We actually size the system for the entire A-frame use. Yes. Um, system size well enough for that. Um, the only thing I think we're actually lacking on is more batteries. Yes. So we want to have, our plan to have at least four to five days worth of no sun, which is huge for us, but we have a lot more batteries to buy. Right, so. and and for now, if we were to go through periods of low sun and mm -hmm. run into an issue with our current battery storage abilities, we do have a backup generator. We do. These batteries right here, they're, they're lithium ferrophosphate, they're not lithium ion, mm -hmm. so they're not lead acid, so they all, there's no off gassing, yes. there's no, no equalizing, none of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So now let's go into the pros and cons. Okay. So pro number one is the programming of our simplified batteries versus the Tesla batteries. Yes, so with the simplified batteries, um, simplified actually got together with Schneider and they came up with an integration guide on how to properly 
program all the parameters on the batteries so they're all function properly and charging properly with no mishaps. With the Tesla batteries, um, I got nothing. I mean, we were on our own. We're on our own. I mean, I can't call Tesla. Hey, so how am I supposed to charge these for my house? It, it just doesn't happen. So with these batteries right here, I got the entire guide on how to properly program them. Yes. Which is nice. And as a side note, we weren't sure if there's enough interest for us to walk you guys through the actual programming of the system. But if that is something that you're interested in, then we could probably put a short video together of, of how we did it because we haven't been able to find anybody on YouTube actually yeah. going through all the steps. So if you're yep. interested, let us know in the comments below. We could probably put a video together for you showing the steps that we used. Yeah. Yep, we could. Pro number two, the battery management system, otherwise known as the BMS. Yeah, so when we originally bought this system, um, I talked to the guys at Alt-D, they got a whole list of stuff for me, and they uh, included a battery monitoring system. I thought that'd be the same for the batteries for a BMS for a battery management system. Well, it turns out it's not the, not the same. Um, so with the Tesla batteries, they come with no BMS with them. You can buy third-party BMSs, all that good stuff, or... We went with the Simplify batteries that has an integrated uh, BMS inside with them. Um, the reason why I, I floated towards the Simplify batteries in the later, later on is because actually a big peace of mind yes. with uh, thermal runaway on lithium ion batteries versus lithium phosphate, lithium ferrophosphate. What the hell is it called? Lithium ferrophosphate batteries. Lithium ferrophosphate is, batteries. Which Jeez. is actually our pro number four. Yes, pro number four. Number three. What? <laughs> Three. You can't count, you know? We've already been over this. Yes. So, the lithium ion batteries, there's something called thermal runaway. They start heating up, they start getting hot, um, they catch on fire. If that happens, you ain't putting it out till they burn out. Um, with these uh, simplified batteries, you don't get, with that technology of uh, lithium ferrophosphate, there's, there's no such thing as thermal runaway. So, yes. there's no chance of these things catching on fire and burning the place down. Which again brings us back to peace of mind. We yes. put a lot of time and energy and money into the powerhouse itself and then everything that we have housed in here. Yeah, we got um, everything for the well pump, new washer and dryer, this, freezer, and freezer. Got, all sorts of and stuff. And plus the build itself. We spend an arm and leg doing all this. Yes. A lot, a lot of equipment in here and, and it's not worth it. Yes. So our last three pros all kind of go together. That's the depth of discharge, mm -hmm. the battery life cycles, and the warranty. So these batteries are warranted for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, the depth of discharge, if I was to use 80% of the battery, they pretty much can guarantee 10,000 cycles on these batteries. So that's uh, use and charge 10,000 times. With that many, that many cycles, that's what, 27 years they should be good for? Um, if I use more than that, if I go down to 90% depth of discharge, that will guarantee 5,000 cycles. If I go down to 100%, and these things can be used, 100% of their, of their battery can be used up, and they'll guarantee 3,500 cycles. So, that's what we got for that. So, 27 years is a long time. I mean, how's car to be my age? <laughs> if we do it like that, my oldest son will be my age when I need to change his batteries out. So, yeah. hopefully that works out. We'll yeah. see. It'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. Okay, so now time for our one major con. Yes. It's not even a major con. I mean, it kind of depends on your perspective looking at it. Um, we keep talking about, about peace of mind. Yes. And um, with, with this, we're talking about you kind of like pay for what you get. Yeah. So the Tesla batteries, we bought those used. Um, we got 21 kW or 21 kilowatts for $5,000. I mean, the batteries are used. Mm -hmm. With the some of five batteries, we got a little bit under 12 kW for $9,000. Yes. But like we said, we spent a lot of money building this place. The lithium ion batteries have a uh, thermal runaway. These simplify batteries do not. So it all boils down to, I guess, uh, what? Peace of mind. Peace of mind, exactly. Yes. So if these lithium ion batteries, there's no issue with thermal runaway, I, I, I would buy more of them and keep putting them on the wall. I mean, I, I would. Yes. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, for us, I mean, peace of mind makes me happy. It does. Yeah? Same here. I, I sleep better at night knowing this, and um, we're also able with these batteries to just add them on one at a time as yes. we go and as we build onto our battery bank. Yep. So these batteries, they, they come 48 volts or 24 volts. We have a 48 volt system, so I can put one battery in when I get the money by a new one. Keep plopping them in. With the uh, Tesla batteries, they actually come in 24 volts. So if I want to go up 
I'd actually need to do, buy two of those batteries at a time, wire them in series, get 48 volts, and then parallel them with what I already have installed. So, that makes any sense. Yes. So I guess that's it, right? That's all I got. I hope that this uh, information was helpful to you guys. Um, as always, with this system, with our washer and dryer, windows, everything that we do, we'll, we'll keep you posti posted on mm -hmm. how it works out for us, any changes yes. that we might make. And uh, I guess that's it, right? I'm going to keep on adding on to the system with these simplified batteries. We'll see. Yeah. As of right now, I like them a lot. Yeah. Thanks for hanging in there with us, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. See ya.